Add a custom domain to free hosting. Today I will show you how to create a WordPress website for free with Infinity Free Hosting. For this, search for free domain hosting in the computer's browser. After that go to infinityfree.com website. After coming to the website, first check the website and follow the instructions. A new account must be created for the first time on the website. Click register now to create a new account. An email address and password are required to create an account. Then click on sign up. After that, the email address has to be verified. After logging into the account, you need to create a new hosting account. Click on create account to create a hosting account. After that, you will see many hosting plans and we will select the free one. Here you will see the subdomain first. If you haven't purchased a custom domain, you can create a new WordPress website with Infinity Free subdomain. We will add a custom domain, and for that, we will click on a custom domain. Popular websites that provide domain hosting include GoDaddy, Hostinger, Namecheap, Ionos, and Bluehost. You can buy a custom domain from here. Before adding a custom domain, the domain's name servers must be updated with ns1.infinityfree.com and ns2.infinityfree.com. Enter the domain you want to add here. For this first copy ns1.infinityfree.com and go to your domain control panel. For all domain hosting providers you will find this name server option in the domain control panel. Click on name servers. Then clear the default name servers of your domain. Paste ns1.infinityfree.com. Similarly, copy ns2.infinityfree.com and paste it into name servers too. Finally, click on Save Name Servers. After updating domain name servers click on Check Availability. An account password is required to create a new account. After that click on Create Account. Then the hosting account of the domain will be created. Click on Open Control Panel. After that click on I Approve. Domail's hosting control panel will open. Now we will install WordPress on our website. After coming down you will see Softaculous Apps Installer. Click here to install WordPress on the website. After that, you will see Mini CMS. Full form of CMS Content Management System. WordPress is the most popular CMS. We will install WordPress on our website. Here at https colon slash slash www dot select it. This cell must be left blank. After that give the name of the site. A description of the site should be given. Then give the admin username. Enter the admin password. Keep the admin password and username, screenshot. Admin password and username will be required while logging into the website. Admin email address must be provided. After giving all the information click on install. After that WordPress will start installing. WordPress is installed on the website. If you try to visit the website after that, it will not come here. There should be a delay of 30 minutes to 1 hour. 30 minutes later. After coming to the website you will see the website is not secure. Our website is in HTTP state. To secure the website, it should be in HTTPS mode. SSL certificate will be required for this. Come to Infinity Free Hosting Panel to get a free SSL certificate. A free SSL certificate is also available from Infinity Free. For this click on free SSL certificates. After clicking on free SSL certificates, click on new SSL certificate. After that, you have to give your domain name here. Then click on Create Order. Here is showing not ready. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to get ready. Click on Set Up Name Records automatically. 10 minutes later. After that, we will see our SSL certificate is ready. Click on Request SSL Certificate to apply SSL Certificate. After clicking Request SSL Certificate it will take some time. After that, the page will be automatically refreshed. Two minutes later. Our SSL Certificate has been applied. Now if we enter the website then we can see the connection is secure. That is, the SSL Certificate has been applied. To log into the WordPress control panel, 
type slash WP admin at the end of the domain name and click enter. Log into the WordPress control panel with the admin username or email address and password. After clicking on login, you will be logged into the WordPress control panel. If the video is useful, give a like. Thanks for staying until the end.